completing orders. When waiting for an order, make sure your phone notifications are on loud. This will ensure you can hear when new orders come through. Check the order details in the email, making sure you have the store's pickup location and the customer's drop-off address. Make sure you leave yourself enough time to get to the store within 45 minutes. This allows you to check you have all the equipment you need to complete the order. It also allows you to safely plan your journey to our partner's store. Before you set off, make sure you've completed all of the relevant safety checks on your vehicle. Make your way to the store's address, following all road safety guidelines to keep everyone safe. Park your vehicle in a safe and legal manner, as close to the store as you can. Enter the store and notify a member of staff that you are there to pick up a Sandai order. Ensure you are polite and friendly with all staff. Show the member of staff the unique order number on the email you are there to collect. Collect the package from the staff member, ensuring it is the correct order number. Make sure the package is secure in your waterproof bag, then make your way to the customer's address. Knock at the customer's door and wait for them to answer. Prepare the package and place it on the step of the floor to make sure it is a non-contact delivery. Let the customer check that their order is correct, then wish them a good day. Email Sandai Admin with the order number and the word complete after completion. You can now leave knowing you made someone a very happy person. Missed delivery. After knocking at a customer's door, begin to wait for the customer to respond. After a couple of minutes, knock again to get the attention of the customer. Wait for a minimum of 10 minutes at the customer's address. After waiting for 10 minutes, email admin at sandai.co.uk, letting them know the order and that it's failed. Once the email is sent, return the package back to the store it's from, giving a member of staff the order number. Using substitutes. There may be circumstances in which you want to ask someone else to provide service of Sandai on your behalf. You have the right to do this at any time with no need to notify Sandai. You can appoint a substitute by providing them with your phone or login details. You may not appoint a substitute who has previously had a supplier agreement terminated by Sandai. When using a substitute, it's your responsibility to ensure that person meets all the requirements to work for Sandai, as set out in our courier contract. As such, you must make sure the substitute is over 18, has the right to work in the UK and is not subject to any unspent criminal convictions. You should ensure your substitute is trained to deliver for Sandai. This video can be used to assist with this. It is also your responsibility to ensure your substitute has all the relevant delivery equipment to complete orders. It is your responsibility to agree payment terms of your substitute understanding you will be paid exactly the same for your services from Sandai. Unfit to work. You should be aware when you are unfit to work. If you feel as though you are unfit or unsafe to work, you should email admin to let them know as soon as possible, preferably 12 hours before your shift. Please then follow instructions from your doctor and do not return to work until 48 hours after your symptoms end.